Hey, hey homos. homos. Welcome back to Happy Healthy Homo. I'm still Keegan. And I'm still Joel. We're still boyfriends. Um, yeah. But we're not in the same setting as usual, are we? We're not. You may know this is not our living room. I wish it was. I love the exposed <laughs> brick. But uh, no, that's because we've got a very special guest today. I'm so excited to have him on because we get so many questions from you guys all about travel. Yeah. And I think whilst we do travel, we're not like experts by any means. Yeah, we might. We might have a large carbon footprint or larger than we should do but um yeah we, we're certainly not experts when it comes to travel are we no. so we're, we're looking forward to our guest so we can introduce sean uh from the globetrotter guys who's hello. here with us today Hi. hello sean thank, thank you, you very for much for having me yeah welcome to our living room i'm, I'm, I'm painting <laughs> me as an expert straight away you've, you, you've set the bar high now. yeah <laughs> yeah well you definitely know more than we do like we honestly get so many questions about and we've done episodes on travel before yeah. but it has to be from our own limited personal experience because we well, i mean you've been to let's just start off with this okay. where have you been yeah, can you reel off some places just so people get a, a, a impression flavor. for where you've been a flavor so i think the more interesting ones like this year i hit my all-time goal and ended up in antarctica oh wow uh, and that was like my number one bucket list which is just literally out of this world wow. um other place in the last few years aruba taiwan mm -hmm. south africa and then of course all the typical gay places so like yes i've done mykonos barcelona madrid yeah um new york all, yeah. all that side of thing as well so and you, and you were saying before as well you're heading over to japan as well later, later this month yeah so next week i'm flying to japan for um the international gay and lesbian travel association conference that's wow. quite a uh, so yeah, yeah that's why that's why i took my time then to try and say every letter gays never make um events like simple today it's, <laughs> it's every every let's see how many letters and words we can get in yeah and, and pad it out. Um, I, I just want to know this isn't even in on the plan why were you in antarctica um <laughs> penguins penguins yeah <laughs> mainly um penguins. I, w I went to um a conference in london called imm and okay. met with a company called swan hellenic and they were keen to diversify the audience they were promoting themselves to. Who's usually um, going to Antarctica? I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I guess like people with money. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's never going to be cheap. There is there yeah, is cheaper right. options. Right. Uh, mm. This particular company was a luxury company. Yeah. Um, but they just wanted to reach a different audience, and obviously my audience is LGBTQ travelers. Mm -hmm. Um, so they said, you know, would you like to come? And I just tried to keep my cool. I was like. Yes, that would be fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, whereas fine. obviously inside I was absolutely buzzing because yeah. that was, it, it felt so unattainable to ever get there. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. then to be offered to work with them to create content to showcase travel to yeah. Antarctica. So it was, I'm guessing it was on a boat, you didn't fly into Antarctica. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> um, yeah, you, got, you fly into Argentina, then down to Ushuaia, which is like the end of the world, the, yeah. the peninsula of South okay. America. Um, and then you get a, it was a luxury cruise ship, but maybe 200 people okay. um, and you have to cross the Drake's Passage, which is the most dangerous water crossing in the world. Yeah, oh, not like the North Sea. <laughs> no, I see, I, we've done, uh, we, like, we'll come on to this, but been on cruises and we went on one in uh, the North Sea and I was terrified. No, it wasn't the North Sea, it was the Bay of Biscay. Oh, the Bay of Biscay. Where's like that? that? It's it between France and Spain. France and above Spain. And apparently it's really, really choppy there okay. normally. But nothing compared to Antarctica. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I love that someone went, we need more gays in Antarctica. Yeah. 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 Well, do you know what it was amazing? We, we got there and there's got a post office um, and the post office had the pride flag. Wow. And I was like, are you joking oh, me? Weird. So Why is there a post office in Antarctica? <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there is, there's a little post office. It's got the, the UK flag and a pride flag flying next to it, um, oh, which I was just... I was a little bit wow. gobsmacked to see. Yeah. 